known of the remaining Republican candidates on the ballot here in New Hampshire is Ryan Binkley. He's a businessman, church pastor from Texas, virtually no national profile, but he is on 30, yes, 30 state ballots. That is no small feat. And he's suing, actually, to be on another one. And he did outperform some better-known politicians in Iowa. This is you and the flank is Ryan Bickley. You're a businessman, but you're a pastor. Yeah. And what happened? You just got a calling? That, you know, I, I did. You know, my heart, I really felt it. I know that many of you may not have met me yet. If I would have told you nine months ago, Brett, that there would be a guy standing here today with you, and you made a pass a vice president, a couple governors, two billionaires, I don't know, a congressman, a senator, would you have taken that bet? You're on a lot of ballots costs a lot of money. Sometimes it takes a lot of signatures. There's people wondering, so why are you going to this level of effort? You know, Brad, if you had a if you had a child that's in a burning building, and that's what I see America today, with the debt and the division, with no plan out, and you got a small percent chance at getting them out, you and them out alive, do you run in? Yeah. Or do you walk away? Yeah. You know, a lot of individual donors, where's all the money coming from? Well, primarily, a lot from me. I self-funded quite a bit of it. Um, but we do have 82,000 donors. It's not a money-making operation. It can't be. Money's going out the door, right? Oh, absolutely. But you know what? I, I just believe in it. I'm fighting for your kids, my kids. You know what the Trump people are saying? He's trying to get on all these ballots to be the Cornell West, the RFK Jr. to the Republican side. So evangelicals who have a, are disaffected from Donald Trump have another line to vote for. I'm not trying to disrupt anything. Listen, America can't wait four years. Our generation, yours and mine, will be known as the generation that prospered the most, that sacrificed the least. So you don't think Donald Trump is able to tap into those issues? Well, I don't know. He's been around for many years and has not so you look at our big cities. I'm from Texas. We lost every major city. Dallas, Houston, San Antonio, Austin. For the first time in 65 years, Fort Worth. This was like the Alamo of conservatism in North Texas. Dear God, help us. You're going to keep going? Yes. You see the voices. Are we connecting to the multicultural communities that are growing, the changing electorate of our nation? We're not. You know it. I know it. And I'm telling America, not every Republican is like that.